Sorry to see you. I went to that bakery that Mike loved, and before I hit the road, I got him that crumb cake. You know, I, I gave it to Deb to put on the table, but I'm so sorry I missed the funeral. You didn't miss it. You weren't. But I am happy Brando was here for you and your family. My son has sacrificed so much for you guys, but then again, your blood, right? OK, well, uh, that's enough. So, you know, <laughs> as I was driving down 95, cousin Mike was talking to me. He was, was he? Oh, what he said was he wants Brando to have much more than a garage. He wants Brando to be a trusted associate like Jason. Sonny's business isn't any of your concern or my business, so just stay out of it. All I'm saying is I hope Sonny realizes what he's got in you. Hey. Oh, Sonny. I am so sorry about Mike. He was one of the good ones, wasn't he? What's going on here? I was just talking about how great it must be for you to have Brando around. Oh, Brando has done so much for you, and um. I am sure you want to reciprocate. And, you know, I know you have other associates like that Jason, <laughs> but there's nothing more valuable than family. You know, Mike always treated Brando with so much respect. OK, Gladys, my dad had a soft spot for you, but that's the only reason I'm going to let you stay. That's my point, that's just that. Mike and I were family. He loved me, and I loved him right back. So honor his memory. You can start by giving Brando what he deserves. Gladys, you look really thirsty after your long drive. Yeah, I think we should get you hydrated. Let's go. Come on. She must have found out by calling Turning Woods. I did not tell her. I don't blame you. She did have a point about giving me a bigger role in the business. It's been decided. <laughs>